this is Zeynep Marjan. This is an analysis of ACCA's March 2024 SPL pre-seed information. This is about the football club, Athletic Trans Central, and we are going to refer to both club and the company owning it as AT. This is the last part of SWOT analysis, threats. We will start by threats that are exacerbated due to declining performance of AT. From the case, we understand that Kyle Land football scene is highly competitive. Clubs are investing in talent, investing in facilities, and they also compete for best sponsors, which makes it hard for AT to maintain its competitive position. Next threat is FFPR, Financial Fair Play Regulations. These are stringent regulations and they have serious consequences, such as relegation and penalties. Next one is declining fan attendance. We know from the case that AT is playing full capacity at the moment when they play in their own stadium. However, their performance keep declining and eventually fans may not want to watch their team lose one more game. So not maybe in the short run, but in a few years, this might be a threat. There are also some threats due to lack of controls. And I want to remind that we are not told anything about risk management in the pre seed information. We know there's an audit committee and there isn't a risk committee. It also doesn't mention anything about a risk manager or effective risk management, risk policy or enterprise risk management. From what we see in the pre scene, they do not have effective risk management unless there is something different in the exhibits. There are two specific things mentioned in the case. One is about potential unfair practices of suppliers. Prison tells us that AT cares about fair treatment, but signals that there is no due diligence of suppliers by saying AT expects fair treatment. Expecting doesn't mean that they did due diligence. It actually means that they didn't do any due diligence for their suppliers. The next one is about data security. The marketing and IT director believes that the maintenance of data is currently in accordance with data protection legislation in Kyle Land. Believing means that they didn't control it. They do not have effective controls in place, which makes me think if they do not know they are following the data legislation, do they do the same for cybersecurity? Do they have controls for cybersecurity or not? So this is a threat for them. There are also other threats such as annoyed locals. We know that match day traffic and noise annoyed locals and on an individual level, they might not be able to do something, but collectively residents can have power and they might choose to take action. Next threat is loss of key players and staff. Whether due to injuries or transfers, losing football players will affect performance directly. Same applies for key staff. So this is actually a threat that's hard to manage because we know that, for example, injuries can always happen in sports. Negative media coverage. We are told in the case that reporters are very keen to get exclusive stories about players. So possibility of a scandal or negative publicity is a threat. You can also consider pastel factors if there's something in the exhibits. For example, a recession means that people have less disposable income and they might not be able to buy a football ticket even if they wanted to. 